welcome to another GCC Maths Higher Revision video with Mr. Hegarty. It's video two in this series and we're talking about expanding brackets. Make sure you pause the video and read this to explain how to use these videos. They're for short, sharp revision. Make a revision card with the examples I do. On the back of that revision card, try the exam questions I show you. Right, so we're doing our first video on expanding one bracket. We're doing five examples, so here we go. We want to do 3 um, multiplied by x add 2. So we do 3 multiplied by the first term. 3 multiplied by x is going to give us a 3x's, 3x. And 3 multiplied by positive 2 is positive 6. Now, a little reminder, don't do this. Students tend to multiply the first term, 3x, and they write 3x add 2. They forget to do 3 multiplied by 2. So don't do that, whatever you do. And also sometimes students do 3 multiplied by x the first term and then they forget that they're multiplying and do 3 add 2, which is 5 for the second term. Again, that's not correct. Don't fall into that mistake. Let's do the next one. 2 multiplied by x take away 4. 2 multiplied by x is 2x. 2 multiplied by negative 4, positive 2 multiplied by negative 4 is negative 8. Again, don't do the two classic mistakes. 2x take away 4. They forget to multiply the 2 by the negative 4. Or they combine them somehow to be 6. They, they might write 2x take away 6. They might do 2 add 4 or something. That's not right at all. Okay? Okay, next one. So, we're going to do 3 multiplied by 2p. 3 multiplied by 2 is 6 and we must have 6p's. 3, positive 3 multiplied by positive 3 is positive 9. Again, don't do the two classic mistakes. Don't say that 6p add 6. Okay, or don't say that 6p add 3 and forget to do that. Both of those are wrong. Okay, and now I'm not going to continue showing you the wrong answers. I'll just show you the right ones. 5 multiplied by 2x is 10x. Positive 5 multiplied by positive 3y is positive 15y. And the last one, so we're going to do 3 multiplied by positive 4x, which is positive 12x, and 3 multiplied by negative 5, which is negative 15. Okay, those five examples should uh, explain everything you need. Now try the following exam questions. Pause the video, try them, then I'll go through the answers in 10 seconds. Okay, so I'm going to just do the answer very quickly. This one would be 4x add 8. This one would be equal to 6 add 3t. This one would be equal to 12x add 20. This one would be equal to 12x add 3y. And this one would be equal to uh, 6y take away 15. Don't forget because that one had the subtract. And that's our second revision video on um, GCSE Higher. Hope you found that useful.